Okay, guys, welcome back. Last episode, I did a bunch of, well, started to do some bossing, but I ran out of uh, Beasts of Burden. So today, or at least this episode, we're going to get started on doing that or getting what I need. So I have a bunch of blue charms, and the best thing for me at level 86 summoning is actually rune minotaurs. This is super easy to get now, and it's going to be to get rune bars. So I do have a lot of porters. Um, hold on, there we go. Yeah, I do have a lot of porters, so if I withdraw 10 and 20, that should be a thousand um, part or pieces of ore. So I'm going to mine first a bunch of uh, rune ore, and then we'll get a bunch of um, other stuff. So we'll go ahead and get going. Or sorry, luminite is what I need to mine, is the secondary in RuneScape 3 for rune bars. So we'll go ahead, get going with that. And I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't. Don't forget, I do new RuneScape 3 videos every Monday and old school centered videos every Thursday. So uh, I'll be back when I'm done with the first set of porters. Hey guys, this is future new name. Just wanting to let you know, I uh, created a Discord, which should be linked down below after lots of people nagging in the comments. Or well, a few dedicated people. But with that, I'm going to get right into the video. Just wanted to let you guys know. Again, check the description down below for the Discord. All right, so I did quite a bit of uh, smithing and I and mining. I have two thousand seven hundred bars, which I think, paired with what I have, should be enough. Might be enough. Could be enough. Um, so I've got two thousand blue charms, but I also have a couple hundred summoning focuses. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these. Um, I think I have a, yes, I do have an attuned teleport crystal. So if you haven't seen this before, like I did on my RS3 main, so with the teleport crystal, you can put it on an action bar, teleport to Armold and Prifendus, and instead of teleporting to the max guild, here I can teleport to War's Retreat. Oh, that is awesome. I might try and wait for Armold Hours just so that way I can get the most amount of XP. But yeah, I'm going to get going on that starting at 86 summoning. So let's see how far I go. Oh uh, man, I just missed it, but there is level 87 summoning. Awesome. I can finally make Nihil. So these are great. If you don't know, they are familiars that give you bonus accuracy in each different combat style so they are super broken i am gonna get back to summoning uh yeah hopefully this goes pretty quick well it is that time again hold on i'm actually gonna get it this time there we go there is level 88 awesome anything good unlocked uh, light creatures Hines, unicorns. Unicorns used to be so busted. Uh, let me know down below. Do you remember when unicorns were great? Like when you could take unicorns to God Wars Dungeon 1, and they would just like make the trip last forever. I don't think I've seen anyone use a unicorn since. Like you either use Pakyax, Nihils, Ripper Demons, Calgarian Demons, or um, uh, I think it's the Bloodvelds that heal you or the Hellhounds. I can't remember which one. Or occasionally, like, you'll see a um, Steel Titan. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to go back to running. So, like you can see, I've said this before in my other videos. But if you're new, I put the Attuned Saren Crystal on my taskbar. So, all I have to do is hit Q. And then I can teleport to whichever district I want. And then this... Other area I am teleporting to is the Wars Retreat, which in RS3, basically as long as you kill a boss once, you can 
use the portals to teleport directly to the boss. And after 10 kills, you unlock the teleport that I'm using, which takes you right there. So it's a super close teleport to a chest. I think there's a couple other ones I could use that are a little closer, but that one is super easy as it is a one-click teleport. And as you can see, I am just breezing through these trips. Um, so yeah, I might have to buy more spirit shards here soon, but I do have 18 mil, so I do think that'll be enough to get me through it. But I'm going to keep going. We need 96 summoning. I'm fairly certain we'll get it. All right. I'll be back with the next level. Okay. So I was realizing when I filled out the calculator, I left it from when I was doing my main. So I left all the XP stuff up. I need a lot more charms. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take a break. And I'm actually going to switch back to AFKing um, Arch Glacier which should help me get what I need. So I'm going to probably switch to ranged again. It's just going to be good. I need to get that level up. Um, I do have, I think I can siphon a lot of my gear. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. So I can do those legs. Um, where to go? My Dragon Rider Lance and my Royal Crossbow. And then I need to take this to the Invention Guild to, to get the siphon. So I'm going to head there really quick. I think I have everything. Hold on, let me check. Um, oh, man, no, I don't. I don't have enough of the precious components. Alrighty, so I think what I'll do first then is disassemble, is cut my diamonds and then disassemble those. So I'm gonna get going on that. Okay, I ended up doing quite a few uh, precious components disassembled and from gems. I only did like 500 gems, so should be enough to get four, which is all I need for right now. So we'll go ahead and make these. Is this my pet or no? Okay, I was gonna say. Okay, and then we'll run over here, and as I said before, I'm going to do a siphon on my Dragon Rider's Lance, my Masterwork Legs, and my Royal Crossbow. So, we'll see if I get any levels from this. Nothing from the first one. There we go. There is level 95 from the second one. And nothing for the third one. So I can make a bunch of stuff. So I will go ahead and make that now. Um, the main thing here that's good is the charge reduction and the junk chance reduction. I don't ever use the bag. And I mean the title school, but cool. So I'm going to go ahead, make those, and then we will get to AFKing at Arch Glacier. So I was making all of those things and we got 96 invention. So I can now do the herb collect or protector. Cool. Awesome. We'll go ahead and get back to it. Um, so the herb protector protects herb patches from diseases. I have been very bad on my Iron Man and I don't really do farm runs right now. Um, I've got to get back into that. So, but anyways, I'm going to get back to finishing off these, and then we will go ahead and hopefully for realsies this time, start AFKing Arch Glacier for more blue charms. Oh uh, man, I missed the level, but I got 94 uh, range, so that's kind of cool. Still piling up the charms. Got a lot more to go. Oh, wow. So there is a Dark Nihilus. I don't know if that's my first one or not. I don't think so because I didn't get a pop for the um, collection log. Oh, I have three. That's cool. I don't know how many I need to make the tier 85 weapons. I'll figure that out. So, like I promised, I have been AFKing Arch Glacier, and 
Hold on, I load back in from this teleport. And I hit uh, 95 ranged. So I can now wield the bow of the last guardian. Not that I have one. And I can now use god arrows and dina arrows. Not that I have them. I'd have to do some questing to unlock them. And I'd need a decent bow. But what I do have is a level 12 main hand. And two level 13 pieces of armor. So... We can go ahead and siphon those. So I'm just going to deposit all this stuff real quick. And then we'll pull out these siphons. And I'm fairly certain I get a level here. But let's find out together. So, yep. Siphon body. And the legs. That a level? No. Is that a level? That is a level. There we go. 97 invention. Sweet. And I can finally make my own note paper. So I'm not quite where I need to be yet. I need to be able to make an alchemical hydrix. Which, where'd that go? I think that's at like 109 or 110 maybe. Oh, no, 117 Alchemical Hydrix. I have a long way to go. But I'm going to go back to AFKing. But first, I need to fix my cowl. So I'll go ahead and do that. I don't think you guys need to see that. And I'll try not to miss a level this time. I'm not going to lie. I was playing some League of Legends. But yeah. Well, guys, I did it again. I missed the level because I was playing something else. But 96 uh, ranged, so that is awesome. I'm getting close to the right amount of um, blue charms, or just charms, period, that I will need. So hopefully I'll be done with Archglacer soon. Um, yeah, just this is really the best way to get blue charms. Just camp here at um, Archglacer. So, yeah. Oh, man, I just realized I forgot my Charming Imp. But... I'm still doing okay on charms. Oh, there is 97 ranged. That's cool. Oh boy, just got 89 summoning. I decided I want to take a break. I've got quite a few um, charms. And it's currently an arm old hour, so I'm going to try and grind out some levels. Hey, hey, there we go. There is 90 summoning. Sweet. Um, going to keep going. Like I said, the goal is 96. And then I can make... A crap ton of uh, pack yaks. Oh, those will be a great upgrade for sure. And there we go. There is 91 summoning. Awesome. I can now do starved effigies. So I don't think I have any that require summoning though. So I will double check, but highly doubt it. Okay, this should be yet another level. So, yep, there we go. 92 summoning. Halfway there. Awesome. And I can make Wolper Tingers, which are good for um Hunter. But, anyways, going to get back to it. Got way more to do. And there we go. 93 summoning. Whew. Getting closer. Abyssal Titans now. Oh, and I can... You nourished ancient effigies. Sweet. There is 94 summoning. I've been turning them into scrolls at this point to pad out how many blue charms I'll need. I really don't want to have to use my crimson charms, but we're getting there. Uh, I'm going to get back to the grind. Hopefully soon we are done. Well, I have been doing quite a bit of um, summoning. And there we go. There is 95 summoning which i can now do sated effigies which i think i may have one so i'll go attempt that and when we're done with that get moving on with more uh, summoning okay i've got several of these effigies and i think it might just be best to use them or take them to the varrock museum to get some xp lamps to then use in summoning so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to head over there now and do that. I was able to open one, but, you know, 
effigies were changed quite a while ago so that the more you have, the less you get. So if I can't open it, I think I should just stop hoarding these and go ahead and just try and get something for them. So I believe it's on the second floor of the um, museum. So we'll just head on over there. We're almost there anyways. So uh, yeah, yeah. it's so hard to click into this. We'll go up the stairs and I believe all I do is use it on Historian. So we'll go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, use all of these on them, and I'll be back with the lamps. Okay, there we go, I got some XP lamps, and yeah, they only give 5k, but that saves me several charms per lamp, so that is well worth it. And I'm gonna get back to the grind. Oh man, so I am 300k short and I'm all out of stuff to make pouches with as far as like secondaries. So I'm going to have to go ahead and make more rune bars. I think that's going to be my best bet. Um, while we're here, we'll swap all these pouches for charms and such. But yeah, I am going to have to go mine more rune ore and make more. But I absolutely 100% for sure this time have what I need for um, the charms that I have. So I have enough charms. We got 430 charms left and I like 99.999% sure that I have enough charms to finish off to 96. So I'm going to go ahead, get mining. At long last, after hours and hours 96 summoning. Sweet. So this means I can finally make pack yaks, which if you do not know, is basically a, imagine a second inventory. It's a familiar with 20 spaces or 22. I can't remember the exact number, but allows me to store a lot of extra things. Now I have uh, 3,500 yak hide. And I should have enough of everything else for it. But I don't want to waste your guys' time with that. So I will come back next episode with that. And then I'll also probably harvest a crap ton of divine energy because I am out. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to join the Discord, which should be linked down below. And follow me on Twitter or X and Instagram. With that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.